Hey Aries, I'm back out with another video. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Today's what, the 29th? So this is from now through February. Keep in mind this energy is general, so it may or may not resonate, or you can uh, flip the energies, okay? It can be vice versa. All right, Aries, give me some energy for Aries. What's going on with the Aries? Severing ties with somebody, um, somebody who stabbed you in the back. You ended something, yep. Yeah? You ended something, you ended something, you ended something, or you're getting ready to. We got a coffin and a phoenix, yeah. Um, you're severing ties with somebody. You've been watching that, watching this person, keeping an eye on them, um, and you deciding that you're gonna focus on yourself, your self worth. Um, you're taking time to heal. Some of y'all are doing uh, shadow work. Like, yeah, you're severing ties. We got acts here. You're severing ties with this person. There could be a breakup, a separation, or you're trying to stop some type of pattern, or you're giving them the silent treatment. Okay. Yeah, you, you're keeping an eye on this person, but you're going to be deciding to focus on you. Okay. Why? I want to know why you're severing ties with this person. This is somebody who you were very interested in. Maybe you guys went on a few dates. Y'all conversated. Um, we got coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. And then we got I like you. So someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wants to date. So this is someone that you possibly could have already been dating or you and this person went out on a date. But yeah, it was a, nah, I'm good. I'm straight. Yeah, so why is sunglasses? Tell me more about sunglasses. Yeah, you see, when I feel like you could find someone else that you're interested in. We got love and date with sunglasses. Yeah, we got the runner. Okay, so you could see someone else. You could be running away from this connection here. Um, you cut that tie. You like them and everything, but it was just something about them that you just felt like, yeah, this is not going to work. You could be watching, got your eye on someone else that you would be interested in. Um, yeah, you got your eye on someone else. I feel like right time, you realize that right time that you focus on yourself, love calls. And you meet the one. You got a soulmate coming. All of these other people are wearing masks, okay? They're pretending to be your, your twin flame, and then they end up stabbing you in the back. So right time that you put this energy into yourself, you're focused on yourself, your self-worth, um, you find the one. You find your soulmate. Okay. Let's see what's coming towards Aries and love. I see you being disappointed because you feel like it's just things are just moving slow. Like there's some type of blockage. Um, and you're just a little bit upset. You're kind of bored. Yeah, it's like, you're uninterested. Like, this somebody that you're dealing with, the people that you were dealing with, you, they just can't keep your interest. Like, they're not doing it for you. They move too slow. They take too long. I see you wanted to, wanted a connection possibly with a Libra, but I see you went out on a date or you you and this person was conversating. But then it's like, yeah, mm, 
Yeah, I see some flirting going on. I see some flirting going on. But this person may not never want to go nowhere. Hmm. Yeah. I see moving ahead. You kind of like crying over spilled milk because maybe you went out on another date. It looks like you guys are dating. It looks like you went out on another date, but your intuition was telling you that uh, you may have to pay for the date or this person... Um, has some baby mama issues or a third party that you find out about. Yeah, like the people that you've been dealing with, they're not interesting enough to you. Like something's not working. Um, you feel like some of them have control issues or low self-esteem or um, you don't like what you are attracting. That's what it looks like. Like it's like you're bored. They're not interesting enough. They may just be asking you, well, you want to smoke? Like, they're just, they're just typical. Now, we got the Ace of Swords, the Devil, and the Hermit. It could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. But you just, like, they think, see, this person thinks that you want to do what everybody else does. Okay? Like, you want to smoke? You want to drink? And you're like, no. I want to go out. I want to go have fun. I want to do this. I want to do that. They're not giving. They're not, it's not giving what it's supposed to be giving. Like, yeah, see, some of y'all, y'all are moving on. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's like, yeah, throw that in the trash. Next. Throw that in the trash. <laughs> no, sir. Next. No, ma'am. Next. <laughs> because they're not interesting enough. Like, they aren't. You're getting bored. You're bored with these connections. Yeah, see, you don't want nobody that's childish, inconsistent, going back and forth. Mm, mm -mm. Yeah, it's like a waste of time. You worried that it's going to keep being a waste of your time? Yeah, like, mm -mm, it's a waste of time. This person, they're too... Um, wanting to be like everybody else, do what everybody else do. You're trying to look, you're looking for something different. They're not bringing nothing to the table like that's stimulating you, that's making your mind wonder. It's just like you're bored. <laughs> you're bored with it. So it looks like a lot of you will be putting that effort and putting that energy um, into yourself and working on yourself. And once you do that out of the blue, love calls. All right, so y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.